Hey, you're looking good today. This is Frank in the Brazil Times newsroom, and here's what's happening. When Police Chief Clint McQueen gave his August monthly report to the Brazil Board of Public Works and Safety on Wednesday, it included 87 investigations, 21 arrests, 67 tickets, 78 warnings, and 15 crashes. McQueen said those numbers are typical for August. When asked about drivers running traffic stop signs, McQueen said there are about five intersections where people tend not to stop at the intersection. The ones he listed were Walnut and Jackson and Franklin and Jackson. He said drivers tend to slow down and roll through the intersection rather than coming to a stop. Board member Linda Mesmer said she and her sister were parked near the intersection of Franklin and Jackson one day last week. There was not a single vehicle we saw that stopped at the intersection, Mesmer said. McQueen said officers will direct traffic on State Road 59 in the mornings and afternoons during the Covered Bridge Festival as a service to Brazil residents. When told Clay Community Schools plans to be on fall break during the festival, McQueen said if that is true, it will definitely help the traffic situation. In other business, the board approved three to nothing Timberland Homes tax abatement calculation for the plant that builds trusses. On September 13, the city council gave approval on first reading for the abatement calculation and final approval is expected to be given at the next city council meeting on Wednesday. They approved the city mowing five properties and billing the owners. And they cleaned up four properties and billed the owners. This is Frank in the Brazil Times newsroom. We're also looking into reports of a city employee who was injured when he was working at Cottage Hill Cemetery. And uh, his leg uh, reportedly got caught in an auger. When we get that information, we will pass it along to you. Remember, there's a lot more on the BrazilTimes.com website and also in our printed edition. I'm Frank Phillips reporting. Hey, if you like this format for our morning news better than the uh, guy reading the news to you on camera, please let us know. Likewise, if you would rather have him read it to you uh, on camera, please let us know. We're just experimenting to see how things go.